It's been a while since we've had a video from the Baron House, and I think the last set was probably the beer cellar, which is finished and is uh, more like a cider cellar now because the last couple of months we've been looking after the orchard a bit and the harvesting and pressing. And yeah, 120 litres of cider plus 120 litres of uh, yeah, other stuff from the, from the apples to make uh, schnapps next year, hopefully. Um, but yeah, it's time to stop resting <laughs> doing nice things and uh, get back down to some serious work and the next big project really is the entry hall and um, this all really kicked off because we need to get a new front door and I would have really liked to get a new front door before uh, Christmas but uh, there's an eight week lead time between ordering it and getting it so that's not going to happen but it's probably just as well because I need uh, some time to do the other things now it's like a a domino effect is a cascading set of uh, things to do uh, just because you don't get a front door so uh, one thing I need to do obviously is um, winter coming and all that is insulate the place and get um, some of the wall heating done so this dividing wall I basically cut a, a hole through it to make a door here uh, to connect it to the cellars um, I just patched that up a little bit because there was holes in it from uh, where plasterboard had been stuck on and by this weekend I want to have the um, wall heating panels stuck on and the hoses installed and that means then the week after I can uh, start plastering so that basically this wall will be done and the front wall uh, where the switches and all that will be for the outside lights will be done as well and those uh, black hoses there are where uh, basically laid up to the uh, manifold or distributor uh, for the wall heating that will be let down to here but because I wanted to get the uh, wall heating in and right right down to floor level so we gotta have a neat job uh, I thought well the tiles have to go anyway um, so I'll take up kind of the, the, the first row of tiles which turned out to be a bigger job than I expected because uh, the, the tiles are this kind of fake marble and they were laid directly onto a screed and um, it doesn't want to come away from that so the whole screed comes with it which is probably okay because it's a bit crappy so it just means then uh, we have to get a new screed uh, put down so maybe five centimeter screed uh, which we might also then lead into the next cellar so it's all um, one level let's say uh, and I need to do all of that while keeping this front door in place uh, so yeah, <laughs> what el other things that have to happen is uh, we need to get a new step outside so when the door goes in we'll uh, have to kind of plaster the, the ope around on the outside and uh, at the bottom is kind of like what looks like bathroom tiles, they're really crap so I want to replace that with a sandstone step. Oh, Jesus, here come the church bells. Uh, so I've measured up for the sandstone step and the idea is that we would uh, can you hear that? It really doesn't insulate at all, this awful door. Um, is get that sandstone step in, and that will basically uh, keep uh, or define the uh, current level. So at the same level everything is at the, at the moment. And then I can uh, get the rest of the tiles up and get a new screed laid. But of course, if I want to get the tiles up, uh, the bottom steps of the ugly staircase have to come up. And uh, I. I hadn't planned to do anything on that for a while, but um, there's no way I can work under there and get new tiles laid. It, it's really quite tight with that metal frame. So they have to come off. Uh, I think they're glued on. Uh, maybe I can get them off in one piece and stick them back on. Actually, that'd be great. Uh, if not, then I need to replace them. And I've already started uh, inquiring about materials because I want to replace the steps of wood. Um, and like seven centimeter thick, uh, kind of glued panels so they're structurally stable for the steps and they're a lot more expensive than I thought so um, if these steps do break I'm going to replace them with OSB sheets <laughs> as a temporary measure uh, while while the, the floor and all gets done so yeah it's, it's go 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 we're back in back in action <laughs> and uh, uh, more work than I than I really want to do maybe but uh, yeah the bathroom scales has been telling me to get off my arse and stop drinking beer and get back to doing some meaningful work uh, but while we're doing all that of course the second vaulted cellar that should be done as well so that all the dirty work is uh, done before the nice shiny new front door comes in um, so yeah that means uh, digging out the floor there's limestone it could be sandstone uh, panels there 
I mean, it looks like a complete kip at the moment. It's our rubbish cellar now. And uh, get it to the same kind of level as the, the one next door. So it's uh, something nice to put uh, kind of household stuff in and jams and onions and potatoes and stuff like that. So yeah, back in action. And uh, let's see how long I can, uh, I can manage before my back gives in this time. 